hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel well in today's video i'm going to conclude how to sew your cargo shorts with the elastic waistband if you're new to the channel do well to click on the subscribe button click on the like button and comment in the comment section ask question there and then i'll do well to reply All right, so having all our materials set, <laughs> remember this was a patched work kind of. So if you have a full fabric, you're not gonna stress the way I'm stressing right now. So first things first, we're going to join the back pattern of the shorts. Yeah, I'm gonna join them together like this. So we place front to front and then stitch by half an inch to run it straight down just like that any place you don't understand just the comment section is very free to ask questions and i will surely reply yeah so that's it and then you can decide to top stitch to make a, a sweet job I would advise as a beginner have a full fabric don't use a patched work just like me no, it's, it's gonna go crazy And here's the other leg of the shorts and you do the same thing same thing you did before that's what you do same here And here you have your piece for the cargo pockets so you fold in one inch inside and then sew to get rid of the rough edge yeah you do the same to the other pockets that like you've got your bias so what you do is uh, you're going to fold it also fold it at least quarter of an inch no sorry three quarter of an inch or one inch then place it on top front to front on top of the piece of the pocket and so like quarter of an inch around this is why you need a bias fabric because if it's not a bias it won't be able to cough that way so that's why you need a bias fabric you cut the excesses out and then fold it 
make it stand accurate. Yeah, just like that. And you turn, flip it over, and then top stitch, top stitch round. So yeah, you're gonna do the same thing here. Make sure, make sure everything is accurate, and then do exactly what you did before here. So now you have two of your pockets. You are gonna work with. So um, the next thing is you bring your front pattern to play, mark where you're going to place the pocket, your preferred place, so I, I, I prefer what, what I use there, I use 3, 3 inch and uh, from that 3 inches I now took the length of the pocket. How long it's gonna be just like that just try to centralize the pocket however you want to centralize it just try to centralize the pocket make it stand at the center make everything accurate now is your time to walk any style you want to do or for this one I am centralizing it in the middle so just try to put it in the middle too you now bring your cargo pockets fold in quarter of an inch and then so so round just follow it slowly slowly don't rush just follow it slowly it's always very tricky but trust me you can do this just follow it slowly just like that slowly slowly yep That is it. Simple as that. I'm almost done with one part. Gosh, it's it's very tricky, so just have to be very careful. You do the same thing to the other side. Centralize the pocket. Take every necessary measurement. Make sure your measurements are accurate. Just like that. Remember we have a little loop so we're gonna cut this denim fabric to make that loop for the 
under part of the pocket so this is the loop you fold it into two and then place it under and then sew you do the same to the other pocket So the next thing we're gonna work on is the pocket cover. I actually changed my mind with the pocket cover. I decided to use a denim here because the uh, the border at the edge of the shorts is gonna be a denim. So I just had to spice it up with a denim also for the pocket cover. So here it is. Your the pocket is okay. Whatsoever inch the pocket is. The pocket cover has to be longer than the pocket by a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Yeah. So my pocket was uh, my pocket was five inch five inches so now my pocket cover here is five one quarter inch yeah five one quarter inch by three inches so you can work with that it's still good so after sewing from the rough edge you flip it over and this is how it looks like the next thing you're gonna do is to press it iron it that's how it's gonna be in the pocket lovely right yep the next thing you do is you're gonna iron it to make it straight and sweet if you, if you don't have time for that you can just stop stitch of which you still stop stitch after ironing so we do it just like that and then place it close to the pocket and sew half an inch place it close to the pocket sew half an inch just like that so when you're done you cut out the excesses just like that and then top stitch fold and top stitch it's pretty simple but tough <laughs> it depends on your mindset if you want it to be simple it's gonna be simple for you if you want it to be tough it's gonna be tough for you but I'd love you to take it very simple because it is simple it's just tricky but you can beat that trust me again if you're new to the channel do well to click the subscribe button turn on the bell to be notified for more videos and uh, click the like button comment on the com comment box ask questions there and I will surely reply then if you if you get to make your shorts your cargo shorts 
uploading it on social media do well to follow us on instagram lkaris.ng do well to follow us on facebook lkaris.ng so whenever you upload your picture we can see it by tagging us tag us in your posts so we can see what you've done thank you So after that you bring the other part of the front pattern and then place it together front to front and then sew from top to bottom half an inch just so straight then have your curve still maintain your half inch So this is it we close we close the next thing you do is uh, the side pockets so you take out that four inches you added on top and take out another two inch and then take out seven inch then you notch do you understand what I mean All right, so this is side pockets. Remember, we were out of fabric, so now we've added a denim there. So we straight down half an inch, a quarter, and you can remember if you're a beginner, use a full fabric. Yeah, except you just want to make a style just like this, and then you can use bashed. So just follow me up. You do the same thing to the other side. And then take it now to the trouser. Sorry to the short. <laughs> yeah. Make it longer by like two inch longer than where the notch starts. And then so half of it. Stop at the notch. Notch the pocket, notch the pocket, and then flip it. It's pretty simple. Then you top stitch at the very edge. You can set top stitch by half an inch, it depends on how you want to do it. But I'm top stitching at the very edge. So this is our cargo pockets, this is the side pockets. Next thing you do is take, ha, make your dart at the back pattern. You take a straight 4 inch down and then take your cut from there, from 4 inch, like 3 inches. So all together 7 inch of a dart. Do the same thing to the side. So that is it. The next thing you do is you bring the front pattern to play, take the back, front to front, a bit. So by half an inch straight down nothing is there to stop you <laughs> just go straight down please 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 subscribe to this channel so I can be encouraged to give you more lovely educative videos that's it come on you can do that I know you can better than this <laughs>
Alright, so Pansy Zits. Do the same thing to the other side. Simple as that. to play and so one after the other so by half an inch just do the same to the rest of the the shorts the bottom shorts the same to the rest of it. And after that, you join them together. Just like this. Do you want to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification, turn on the bell, whatever you call it. And then ask questions in the comment box. Also, very important, share with your friends. Please share with your friends. Share with your friends. The link is there. Just copy the link. Share with them. If we you think they need to know about this share with them after that you join the bag together by half an inch so that is it we are almost done with our shorts now the next thing you do is you to join the inside leg which is this take a measurement of how big or how small you want it to be and then so accurately Oh my god, the shirt looks lovely already. We're almost done. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing we're gonna work on now is the westbound, right? Yeah, the westbound. So this is your shorts. Pretty unfinished. So this is the westbound. Remember, when you're working with your westbound, if your west is dirty, like if your west is dirty, you divide that by two as you divide the west by the elastic by two if it's 30 that's 50 right then you minus one and a half inch or two inches and then sew by half an inch you can decide to top stitch if you want to so this is it It looks sweet right the next thing you do is you fold it into four mark them just like that so when you're done marking you now place them by each of the place each of the lines being joined if you can calculate this four 
that's the, the front, the sides, and the back. So you make use of your pins now, pin them together, pin them by folding three quarter of an inch, fold it on top there like elastic, do it like that round, just like this, yeah, pin it, do it like that throughout. Is another tricky level you're gonna pass through but trust me you can do this with this tutorial video you can overcome this trust me just trust me <laughs> all right so what you do is you increase your stitch level to that make you need a bigger stitch for this so you drag it while sewing you don't just sew it just like that you drag you drag the elastic and the fabric together while sewing just like this you need a lot of strength i trust you 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 have energy for this <laughs> now you keep dragging just like that it's pretty simple you drag it to the end Now you take off all the pins, that's how it looks like. Take off the pins and then fold it again according to the elastic band. Just fold it inside and then pin. Pin according to the lines and measurements. Yeah, so everything is gonna be accurate. Keep pinning, keep turning, just like that. Alright, so now start quarter of an inch and sew. Keep dragging and sewing, that's how you get it. So by a quarter of an inch, you can sew by half inch, whatever that suits or makes you comfortable. It looks sweet, right? <laughs> Trust me, yours will be better. So you keep running like that if you want to make three lines if you want to make four lines if you want to make five lines it's how you want it just follow it step by step like this we get in there we're almost done Wow, I'm loving this. So beautiful. For those of you that didn't know how to make this, now you know. And I'm glad that you know. Share this with friends. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. 